Here we are in Luclo Pascal, which is a tiny, tiny monopole, just a quarter of an hectare, three barrels a year. In fact, that clo was forgotten for one century, and then we decided to replant it in 2009. It's planted in high density with very fine Pinot Noir, small berries, and on those long poles that we call Echala. So there is a lot of, work, of hard work here. We work only by hand, like did the monks for seven centuries. The vines are not trimmed and we twist the branches to make an arch. There is no official Grand Cru yet in Côte Chalonnaise, but Clos Pascal might be one in reality, but only time will tell. Okay, this is the Clos Pascal, a very small monopole. Unfortunately, we produce only two to three barrels a year. In 2019, we had three barrels, in 2018, two barrels only, and in 2017, that we are going to taste later, we had three barrels. So Clos Pascal um, 17, it's an amazing tiny monopole and, and since its first vintage, although it's very young, still very young vines, it displays an amazing level of uh, complexity. So this harvest was done on uh, August 30, if I remember well, very warm yes. year, so to keep the freshness. Mm -hmm. So it's 100% uh, full bunches, no destemming at all. Mm -hmm and also no filtration. No filtration. Dark uh, ruby rub, bouquet of red flower, peony and roses. In the mouth, mm -hmm. an explosion of, of red fruits, fleshy and long, ported by a frame of silky and tight tannins. So I think it's a great example where freshness meets power. And this is really a great example of a, of a great crew of, uh, of Côte Chalonnaise. Almost a grand crew in Burgundy. Cheers. <laughs>